It's that color all season. I've been out all morning and she now wants a lot of cuddles. Hello everyone. So welcome back to the Sketchbook Diaries part five. Okay, another update in the sketchbook series. So I have my sketchbook here. I just sit down a little randomly, haven't prepared anything really. Well, not that I've been preparing much for this series, to be honest. So if you stumble up upon this video and you don't really know what I'm talking about. Hi, my name is Patricia. I'm an artist and illustrator. And in this series, we're trying to finish this sketchbook. I don't have a time limit. It's not supposed to be a fast paced pro a fast paced process or a challenge that I need to complete in a certain number of days. In fact, I'm encouraging myself to be chill in this sketchbook. I started calling this like the chill sketchbook project or something like that because is not supposed to be a mandatory thing that I get burned out of. In fact, that's the complete opposite that I want to get with this. If you want more info on that, I'll talk a little bit more about why am I so adamant in calling this very a very chill project and all of that. In the first video, I go a little bit more in depth about my sketchbook journey so far and why I want to do this to get, I don't know, better at, at my sketchbooks. Um, I don't think this is going all that well in the sense that I'm not building it as a habit as I wanted to, but at the same time, I'm not forcing this and that's kind of fun too. So my life has had a lot of ups, downs, changes lately. Um, in fact, I just started, I will start a new job, but I had like a something, an event today. I probably will be busy to keep up with a lot of the things that I've been doing. However, I'm hoping that I can still keep up with this and give you an update at least once a month. So the last update that I recorded about this, it was, I think, in mid-November or by the end of November. So yeah, I haven't updated you much, but then again, I was recording a few other videos in the middle. So I didn't want to do an update for two, three drawings because I already had all the videos up to go to my YouTube channel and it felt a little redundant to fill you up with videos where I say, hey, I filled one page. With that and with the fact that I think for the last, not for the last week, few weeks, the last few weeks I've actually been using this sketchbook, but before, like I think half of January or three weeks of January, I haven't done anything in this sketchbook. But now I actually have done more than a few pages that I can update you with. I wanted to record a little time lapse for today. I don't know if I will, perhaps tomorrow when I record the sketchbook tour to put over this video at certain points. I might not, by the way. I don't want to pressure myself with this sketchbook. I've talked about that in other videos. I don't want to make this super repetitive because this is a chill video. We're just chatting. I'm just going to try to put some things here and there while I update you and what's been going on. It's mostly with the sketchbook, but sometimes I'll also give you some life updates, like the things that I share here. I don't share all my personal life here, but you know what you can expect to. She's such a dog cat. I don't really understand how that happens, but let's take a sip of coffee. I'm here with my afternoon coffee, so you might see me sip here once in a while. All right, so my last update was around here. So if you want to see what I've been doing in the sketchbook so far, you can go check out the previous videos. Okay, so the last update that I showed you that I in fact edited just a few days ago, so it's gonna go up. Oh, I think it did go up already. So it has gone up really recently, now in February. I basically told you about this. This was a live drawing session that I had with a friend here in a park that we have nearby. Um, I think you can see it pretty well there. I have a ring light now and sometimes it's really like, oh, you can see properly now. So I had this page and then I had a little gap in between, but I'm going to show you this page here because I actually wrote down like a children's book idea that I thought would be fun. I'm not really sure how to approach children's books just yet. And if I want to approach a children's book right now that I'm going to be a little bit more busy, it will probably be my Halloween children's book that I've been thinking about for ages. So that's a little bit there, just a line about an idea that I have. But I'll show you this page in the middle in a second. But basically the other last update was this. 
there was just Lorelai, not the bottom part, just Lorelai there. This is from the Gilmore Girls. Um, it was a list that was going on through October last year, I think. It was just all Gilmore Girls. So I decided to try the first prompt out because I saved the list and I was restarting Gilmore Girls. You know, I do that every year and a half or something. And I thought, yeah, let's do that. That sounds like fun. So those were the last two updates and were actually like the updates for about a month because I didn't have time to do anything else. I was really busy. This time I was just being putting it off. I have been busy, but also like I just put off the sketchbook. For a little while, I think I even forgot about it, to be honest which is sad, but um, now that I'm reorganizing my studio after coming back from the Japan weekend, by the way, the last video before this should be uh, what I pack for a convention video is supposed to have tips and tricks. Just, just saying that because it's related to what I'm talking about now. And that's basically that when I come back from a convention, I usually have to so, sort of reorganize. And I've been actually doing so with these shelves too. I actually, as I said, have a few pages to show you. This is not the exact order I did the pages in, but I'm going to show you in order just so it's not so messy. Okay, so this is just a quick sketches page. As you can see, it's something very rough. If you have seen other videos from this series, you know that I like to sketch into color, especially in red, purple sometimes. I have the cool erase pencils that I really like to sketch. So. These over here, I have a stationery shop with a friend, a new stationery shop. I mentioned it in every video, but it's just basically what I've been doing a lot these past few months. Uh, in this stationery shop, we were designing a Japan-themed collection for the Japan weekend. Because as we were going, we wanted to take something related that was not fan art. In these conventions, we are actually allowed, encouraged to take fan art. So in the shop, as we are also using Etsy, we don't want to risk it. So we decided to do something that we can reuse on Etsy and not just be for events. And then we decided to do this Kokeshi-inspired collection with the Kokeshi are Japanese wooden dolls that are given to friends and family and sign of love, friendship, you know? And they're really super cute, so we designed a few, and these were just a few sketches. Then, as you can see, there's also some food and a Maneki Neko, like the lucky cat with the pow. And that's because we wanted to also include some other elements and do a sticker sheet with, like, street food, mostly sweets and things and we actually did and turned out really really cute so those are just some sketches for things for that collection i don't know if there's a few more in another page yeah but that's later on i'm just gonna show you in order so this was the page that i told you that had like a little phrase for the children's book so i just reused it because i didn't want to leave one page blank with just a phrase and then i continued over here i thought it had enough space for me to try the second prompt which was Lorelai and Rory. I just honestly did this normal scene. I saw a few images, all types of images, but really like what's more typical than just drinking coffee in looks. So if you haven't seen it, ignore me. Just know that they drink a lot of coffee in that show. I don't think that I captured Rory so well, but I think I did capture somehow Lorelai a little bit, like the nose and all. But again, it was really fast even here like i think i somehow captured her but not like so much i wasn't either going to be really realistic because that's not my style anyway so i also am thinking with these sketches that perhaps i could try to do some fan art like proper like finished drawing of them because i don't know like i've been seeing so much of it lately because of the prompt list that it got me excited about having i don't know some somehow a, a print or something what do you want to do? She wants to lick my nose and my hand. See, she's really like in cuddly mode. She's cleaning me up. You are sweet. You are sweet. You are sweet and squishy. She's really sweet. Okay. Moving along. This is actually was actually done, I think, before the other ones, all that I've shown you before. And basically, in the last weekend of December and the beginning of the year, we were in Granada, here in Spain. Granada. <laughs> Let me say it in Spanish, because it sounds very weird. So that's actually the Alhambra, the palace in Granada. It's really pretty. We actually didn't want to see it inside, because you have to take the tickets months in advance. How do I say this without it being a riddle? So my sister-in-law, like my boyfriend's sister, uh, girlfriend, her girlfriend 
is from Granada. So we were actually in her parents' house. Um, we spent a lovely weekend. She was showing us around all the neat parts of the city. An insider's, you know, perspective is really, really nice to have someone that lives there, right? To show you around. And although we didn't see the Alhambra inside, we really want to, we will come back, of course. It was really a fun experience. So she took us to a really high point where you could see the best views of the Alhambra. And I decided to pull out my sketchbook and sketch a little because it's something that I would like to do in the future, you know, just have a little memory, even if it's just a quick sketch. I feel like it's a really cool thing to do, you know, and it's not the same if you do it from a photo and you end up forgetting to. Like, it's double the thing that it's not the same, but it's also like you forget. And you might take a hundred different photos and some of them might be really, really pretty for the drawing, but it's not the same, so... She's really in cuddly mode. You copy there? Yeah? I actually just did the sketch really quickly of the Alhambra there, then I took a photo and we went back down and I actually finished it, it at home. So this is not watercolor paper and I actually used like um, my travel kit to finish this. So it's not the prettiest sketch. I don't feel like, wow, this is a masterpiece, but it was like a nice memory to have like here in the sketchbook. I actually put the name of the place and the date and I don't know, it feels like a travel travel book of some sorts, a travel sketchbook. And that's like the third live sketch I do in the sketchbook, which is quite a lot more than I've done ever before. So yay me, I'm progressing. So here I have this pattern and I was kind of skipping this page. So I kept skipping this page one time and another. I was saving this pattern because in another video I told you that I was following a book for sketchbooking and that I might go back to. I'm not done with that yet, but this was one of the first exercises of the book and we were supposed to decorate a few pages and maybe go back to that in the future. I don't know exactly when. Um, so I was saving those pages, but at the same time I felt kind of, this is just my brain talking, which is like that, but I basically felt weird leaving out this page blank and I kept leaving it, kept leaving it. Yesterday night, I think, or no, not yesterday, a couple of days ago, really. So this is the most recent. I saw this picture on Pinterest. I was just looking through things. Um, I keep looking sometimes for inspiration for the projects that we're doing for our stationery shop. And this image popped out. It was a girl with a long braid, not so long as this one. I think it was like up until here or something. And a really weird pose. I really don't love how the pose came out. I do love the hair, however. So I decided to sketch her, pull out my ink pens, because I really like to use this these pens for sketching. In fact, I actually bought refills for this one not so long ago because I used to really, really love this. More than this one, actually. I don't know if it's mine, but it came out like semi-dry and I like it for doing textures, but not for the line details that you can get with this. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing with that hair. It's just my, my thing. I just love playing with hair. It felt good to me to do a little bit of drawing with hair and then going back to my roots, my favorite things. So moving right along. So yeah, some of these sketches were done with the first page for the, for the Japan collection sketches. So here, as you can see, I was trying to do something with calcifer, but that was not very telling. And then there I was just drawing some of those bunny sweets that they have in Japan. Then here we have prompt number three from the Gilmore Girls prompt list. And this didn't turn out so well, but I really wanted to draw it in a very fast paced way because the images that I could find were very blurry. And I remember the chapter, but I don't remember specifically how to draw whatever she was wearing and all. And basically the prompt was running late. I actually put the name of the chapter down there and just a, a few notes like cowboy boots because you really can't see that they're cowboy boots. Basically this chapter is like the second chapter in the series and just a very fast, because I find it very funny, I think it's my favorite um, funny bit with Lorelai. The first time you, you get to know how the show is gonna go with her is basically that it's the first day Rory, the daughter, is going to a new school. This school is very fancy with uniforms, it's very expensive. She gets up late because her her fuzzy alarm didn't went off. Rory's like panicking, like, mom, we're gonna be late. And she's like, okay, it's, it's okay, I'll drive you. And then she says, you have to go in with me, you know, it's the first day you have to talk with the headmaster and all. Um, and Laurel is like, 
I didn't pick up the dry cleaning and I don't have any clothes left. So she dresses up in the most weird outfit and they're just running late and panicking and it's also very funny. She tries to cover it with a coat but obviously that doesn't go well and I don't know it's just it's just a very funny bit that she's going there with cowboy boots um, a tie-dye shirt. It's just all very random you know so I thought that that would be the perfect moment to capture. And then as you can see there's oh, a little bumblebee with a flower here just a few random ideas that we're throwing out for our newest collection for the shop and I'm just telling you this because this page is also for that. This was just a very fast experiment I was just trying to play with textures and these like honeycomb shape. I actually want to do it in a larger paper and watercolor paper because we might be able to scan it and use it for our collection for you know bigger illustrations and things. So this is not exactly the look I was going for because I had to trace like them. I actually made myself a little cheat sheet <laughs> here so I could like draw them perfectly and fit them. I actually draw them in orange and they're pretty visible. But yeah, what I'm thinking of doing is with watercolor paper, this shape and a bigger sheet, try with a yellow pencil because I do need to trace it. I, I don't have that geometric kind of look, you know? I don't think it turned out bad though. I, I think this is somehow what I was looking for, so it was a good test. And I left it there. I don't know if I want to draw something else in here or just leave it there. But for now, that's what it is. And then the last thing that we have here, because even if you see things painted like this that you're seeing there right now, this was done before, as I said, for what I told you that I was doing an exercise book type of thing. So the last page that I will show you is this, and this is just, I was doing a Ghibli commission, in fact. And when I have like leftover paint, I sometimes feel bad about it. I, since a long time ago, I've been just filling a random page in my sketchbook. So I just picked a page and fill it up. Yeah, I did that. Just, you know, I'll fill it up in the future with something, whatever. So I do this because not only it like you have the paint and you can use it somehow, but sometimes it, like, you know, you have so many blank pages in your sketchbook. It's sort of nice to have some that have something on it, which is was in fact the, the first thing that the, the book that I'm telling you about dead. It just told you to break out a few pages, so not all your sketchbook. So perhaps if you're suffering from the, you know, the blank page syndrome, kind of being scared of starting your sketchbook, this might help. So with that now, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see it there. But yeah, we've done quite a few pages. I think we already had like 10 or 12 the last time that I told you about. And I think this time I've updated you with around five. Taking into account that this took a lot longer than before to up for me to update you, it's been like two months since my last update. I still think it's good because I'm progressing, I'm moving forward. I'm still feeling a little blocked when it comes to my sketchbook. And as I'm not doing this very regularly, I think it's pretty normal. One of the things that I felt has been going on for quite a while is that whenever I grab a sketchbook, I don't really know what to draw. I feel very uninspired and before I could just sometimes like grab a pencil I will start drawing faces, sometimes I will start drawing something. If I didn't feel like that sometimes I will warm up with figures, figure drawing sketches like really fast, really loose. Some other times I will just open Pinterest and I will start studying some sort of photo or maybe it will spark an idea like this time with the girl and this girl here is not exactly sparked an idea, but basically I just wanted, I saw her with a very thin braid around here and I thought, let's make it big, fluffy and long. Things like that, you know? That will happen before a lot more than it's happening now to me. I feel like perhaps I'm being a little burned out creatively and a lot of the things that I do are fun art because of the conventions and things that I have. And other times, like, you know, maybe they are for work. Someone asks me to do a book cover, things like that. It's not that I'm not creative anymore or that I can think of ideas, but I'm still feeling a lot more stuck than I did a few years back. Um, because that's something you train. Like, whoever tells you, oh no, you, you just don't, you are not creative, you can't think of ideas. That's a lie. Because, you know, that's a skill that you train just as any other thing. And when you don't use it, it's a sort of, you know, you sort of forget it's there. But you, I know this because when I was in university, I was studying fashion design. We did a lot of mood boards. I don't know how you call it in English. 
Oh, brainstorming. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. A lot of times we use the English word, so I don't know why I'm, I was so confused. So we did a lot of brainstorming, a lot of mood boards and things. And that was the way like teachers were teaching us <laughs> to help us, you know, bring out ideas. I used to do a lot of those. Sometimes we had the most random ideas for things, for collections, for, you know, projects. We not only did clothing collections, but sometimes we did like other things, other pro related projects and things. And we had the craziest ideas. And even people that when they arrived at the career with me were saying, oh, I'm not creative, I can't think of ideas. We're turning out with really cool ideas. You know, some people were, will always be like, like a little bit more sparky and things, but we were trained with it. And eventually we all came with really cool ideas because you're just training it, doing very regularly the same things. There's like a method to the madness, I guess. If you wanted to, I could do a video on this, like maybe try to do a video on how to generate ideas. I don't know if I did something like this a long time ago. I think I talked about it, but I don't know if I've done a dedicated video to it. And perhaps it would be a good idea for me to also try to get more creative, try to get my juices flowing and get back into that, you know, creative flow. Then again, I feel like it's normal for me not to be able to be such super creative because, you know, I do came up with ideas sometimes when we're doing our collections for our shop because we actually pass through this stage of uh, gathering up some references, making a sort of mood board. It's all a lot more informal. And then both I and my business partner and friend do a few sketches on our own and then we put ideas together, you know? And those sketches on our own and then put together are like the sort of brainstorming part. And you come up with a lot of sort of cool things. So I will definitely recommend it. Bouncing ideas out of someone else is also really nice if you want to come up with cool ideas. But then also like a lot of things that you can do is just put prompts together, things like that. Only that for me, I also feel a little rusty sometimes, like putting things to paper or putting ideas to paper and things like that. So all of those, those little things I was trying to slowly, you know, get better at with this sketchbook. But perhaps what I should try to do is just go back to what I was thinking initially and just go back to Minnie's book, um, the sketchbook project uh, book, because I feel like perhaps following something like that will get me back my, instead of just my mental part of of the drawing, also my mechanic part, like make it a little bit more mechanic as it was before. Like you just grab a pen and start doing something because you're so used to be doing something, be drawing all the time. Like there was a point in my life that I will draw every day and no one will have to force me. I will just draw every day. I will not push myself. I will just want to do it. When you're like that for quite a while, it just happens, yeah, like your your hand is used to it. So with that being said, I've already been talking quite a lot more than I was expecting because my voice is not the best today after spending my morning in an event talking to people. Let me get another drink of coffee and gather my thoughts. I keep seeing this cover and at first I didn't, it didn't even bother me. But now I'm thinking if I should personalize it a little bit, maybe in a video with you guys, but I don't know, it's sort of bothering me now that it's like kind of so... Meh. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I've thought about this before, by the way. It's not that this is the first thought that I have. But now that I keep showing it on camera and all, it just feels a little ugly and uncreative, you know? You don't usually get motivated with an ugly sketchbook. <laughs> I don't know why. We artists are superficial people. We like pretty things and pretty things motivate us to work. Perhaps I should dedicate a little fun video, just kind of casual in this series. Just putting something together on top of this. Uh, perhaps a few stickers. I have a few new stickers from the convention, Japan Weekend convention I went to. I have a, uh, I had a lot of talented, nice neighbors that brought me a few things. I think I have a sticker sheet or two there too from Kickstarters or something. And I'm always reluctant to use it because I like to save them. And I feel like, oh no, I don't want to spend them. But then again, like you need a creative, pretty place to draw. Okay, so that's all for this update. I'm still on my way. I'm still figuring out things. I'm happy because I think that, you know, since I started this, I've done more pages in my sketchbook than I've done in the last few, few years. And I say this in every video, but I just 
kind of want to make up because sometimes I, I keep saying, oh, I haven't been too productive, I haven't done anything. Um, and I don't want to think that because that's not the mental thing that I want to have with the sketchbook. I don't want to be like, oh, I haven't done anything. I want to be proud of what I've accomplished in the time that I've been doing this, which is only a couple of months and three months, I think now. And the thing is, I haven't done like 15 or 16 pages in a sketchbook in four months in so so long that I should be proud I should be happy I could try to do better of course but then my point here is I'm hoping I keep going and finish this sketchbook and feel a little better for it feel like I'm back and my creative juices feel a little bit more I don't know flowing or something <laughs> what was that but just yeah keep keep it positive you know all right I don't know I feel like I haven't said anything of value in this video so I'm sorry if you feel like you've wasted your time being here. These videos are like this. I'm just updating you in what's been going on with the sketchbook. They are quite rambly and they're quite like this. So if there's anything that I've mentioned that you want to talk with me about, you can do so in the comments. You can always write to me and leave me your thoughts. You can ask me questions, whatever you want. And, um, and I'll be happy to answer whatever I can. So that's it for today. Thank you for coming to my long, long update in this sketchbook. I'm hoping I don't take almost a month and a half to record another one. So thank you for coming to this podcast session of the sketchbook diaries. I'll see you soon. I hope you enjoy it. Please consider giving it a like if you did. And remember that you have a playlist for this series that I'll link down below if you want to go check out the other videos. It will help my channel a lot, as you know and subscribe if you are enjoying this type of content or any of my content and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!